All right, it's the number one issue in American homes, getting your financial house in order. Today in our weekly financial fix, shopping and charity. Many retailers, you may have noticed, are now making charitable contributions when you buy certain products. Let's bring in the author of It's Just Money. So why does it cause so many problems? Financial consultant Karen Lee joining me now. Okay, a lot of retailers are doing this in lots of different ways. You buy this, a certain percentage goes toward a charity, okay. or sometimes... A cashier will ask you, can you make a donation? Would you like to, round Would you like up? to make a, yeah, round right. it up to the right. even dollar. Okay, so what do we know about these charities? Well, do, can we trust that they are legit? that our it, money should be this one's not really about the, the charities this is about the retailer why are the retailers yeah. doing this and fred you know I, I like to talk about how they play on our psychology they're yeah. expert marketers when we go to make a purchase and we're a little bit not sure mm -hmm. should we or shouldn't we if part of it's going to charity that's going to push us over the edge it makes us feel good to yeah. contribute to charity so that's why so many retailers are getting on that bandwagon of donating a little bit. So as a consumer, though, how are you judicious? I mean, how do you kind of take control of your personal finances right. at this moment of, ooh, I should do this because, you know, part of this money goes toward a good cause? Right. Well, so the first thing we want to do is say, be careful. Yeah. Okay, when you're purchasing something that has a charitable donation mm -hmm. uh, connected to it, realize that the deduction is going to be extremely hard to calculate. I'd rather you just look at that contribution as a bonus, okay? That should hmm. not be your primary reason for buying that item. So the real question should be, yeah. is this thing I need or want to buy as a gift, is it still a good deal? All right. That's really the question. And, and so what, what are you going to do? You're going to comparison shop. Oh, okay, and how are you going to do that, though? Well, the same way you would with any kind of shopping, mm -hmm. which we've said on the last two segments. You've made your list. You've set yeah. a budget. Now you're going to go on the Internet mm -hmm. and see where you can find that item for a good deal. Now, if you can buy something and it connects to a charity, then win-win, okay. right? But I'm going to recommend that in general, mm -hmm. you want to separate your charitable giving from your gift giving. You, you, you want not to be, I guess, emotionally attached to this purchase, that I'm not making the purchase because I need it or somebody's going to like it, but I'm making this purchase because I think it goes toward a good cause. That's not the best That's reason in that case. Remember, the corporation's yeah. going to get the charitable mm -hmm. deduction. You're never going to track it. It's going to be hard to calculate. Oh, so at the end of the year, you can't even say, I made a donation to this organization. Your check or your toward... charge went to the corporation. Uh -huh. So it, it brings up a good point, which was what about charities that also have a retail operation. Okay. Now we're talking about something. So you're that, talking about the, re, re, okay, retailer that is also a charity. For example, you probably got some catalogs just this week. Yeah. I've got one myself. It's a charity I normally give to. It's an animal group, and it was uh, Symbolic Adoptions. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, you That's would cute. never, in that case, pay $50 or $100 for a stuffed animal. So in this case, the, the thing they're giving you, mm -hmm. t-shirt, sweatshirt, stuffed animal, that's the bonus. But if you're going to give to that charity anyway, well, then what's wrong with getting a little something that you could re-gift to Except your child? Except then you're starting to wonder, well, what are you doing with the money that I'm giving you? Is it really going toward those efforts, or is it going toward it's paying a, for the It's a great question, and I just want to tell you, I called this charity this week. You did? I did. And you challenged them on that? I asked how much of my charity, how much of the amount I give mm -hmm. is going to the charity, and how much can I tax deduct? Yeah. And they told me I would get an acknowledgement letter with 100% wow. of my donation. And it said that it goes to their general fund. Okay. So, All right. Well, sorry. The, tis the season of giving. Yes. So don't forget those charities you know, as well. But be smart am, about how you very, make those donations. And I'm very big on charitable giving. So yeah. I want to encourage people that can afford to give to charity. But let's not let the retailers trick us yeah. into buying something we, we really can't yeah, afford. Yeah, because sometimes it is a little enticing. That's right. All right. Karen Lee, thanks so much. Always good to see you. Thank you, too. <laughs> All right, get more information by reading Karen's new book, uh, It's Just Money, So Why Does It Cause So Many Problems? Or reach Karen at karenleeandassociates.com.